Hey guys, how are you all doing today? I have a new book review for you. I'm shelling out these reviews like like crazy. It's almost the end of the month. So I have my last book of February and that is The Duff, The Designated Ugly Fat Friend and this is by Cody Kuplinger. I finished this yesterday. I thought it was a really quick read. I really thoroughly enjoyed it actually. I, I thought I would like it but I didn't realize how much I would and I thought it was a really interesting read getting to read Bianca and her personality. I thought it was pretty refreshing. Let's get started with this review. Talk about what this book is all about. Our main character is Bianca Piper and she's pretty much the opposite of who she hangs out with. Her best friends Casey and Jessica, they're both blonde, tall, and bodacious. Very attractive girls. It's not until her arch nemesis Wesley Rush approaches her and tells her that she's the duff and the nerve of him. He deservingly gets cherry coke in the face. That scene was pretty funny. It's not enough that Wesley, the man whore, douchebag, tells her that she's the duck. Bianca finds herself in a very stressful home situation. The relationship between her mom and dad are not going over so well. There's a lot of tension going in their marriage. Bianca's father is a recovering alcoholic. She's pretty much worried that he's going to relapse. And so she needs a distraction. She needs a way to escape. And she finds that horrifyingly through Wesley Rush and through his pants. That's basically the synopsis and plots. Basically Bianca's struggle to figure out what this relationship is between her and Wesley. Her dealing with a relationship between her mother, situation that's going on between their parents. There's some tension going on with their friends as a result of her hanging out with Wesley. Of course her figuring out what the duff means to her determining who she is, rethinking what she deserves. Let's talk about the characters because the characters are really what I enjoyed about this book and the different personalities. Bianca, she is cynical, bitter, but very loyal person. She's very dedicated to her friends, really deep down cares about them. Although she comes off really unlikable, very brash and blunt about the whole thing. I actually enjoyed reading her character. She's a very relatable character. In some ways I really identified with her. She's not your typical teenage girl. Bianca didn't really identify with a lot of her peers at high school. Her pride and the denial of certain issues did get in the way and could have resolved a lot of her issues quickly but I just love the development of her character. Although she really progressed as a character and really developed, I really enjoyed how she maintained her personality. Let's talk about Mr. Wesley Rush, the resident man whore douchebag in the book. He is you know, a jerk a lot of the time. Very sarcastic, really funny. There were actually some really sweet moments. You do find out there is more to his character than what appears in the beginning of the book. Overall, I just really enjoyed the dynamic between him and Bianca. Really brought out each other's true personalities. They really demonstrated that expression where there's a very thin line between love and hate. Very dramatic, very teen angsty, and I love the quips going on between those two characters. So I thought that was great. Let's talk about Casey and Jessica, Bianca's best friends, they really break out of the cliche pretty mean girl and I just really enjoy their friendship and their dynamic all three of them had. Bianca really balanced out, they're really two outgoing girls. I thought their friendship was really authentic, very sweet as well. You can really see these three girls really care for and watch out for each other. Characters were awesome. I enjoyed the characters a whole lot. I really just enjoyed everyone's interaction in the book so good job. Let's talk about the mature content in the book. Sex, there is some swearing. Okay, there is a lot of sex and a lot of swearing. These two aspects did not bother me at all. Sure, Bianca probably could have taken up knitting or pottery, but that probably wouldn't be as interesting. There's definitely a lot of themes in this book and issues being dealt with regarding sex and sexual relationships. Bianca definitely had some opinions on what she thought love was, high school love. I don't think the main focus though was the act itself, but really the reasons behind Bianca's actions. I did think Bianca could have used different adjectives to describe certain things in the book. I did think there are some swear words that seemed out of place, but for the most part I thought it was a very authentic, realistic way teenagers talked and swearing is really a part of it. I thought the writing was really good. The pacing was really great. I love Bianca's character and how she wrote her personality and her reactions to a lot of things in the book. There wasn't too much I really had qualms with. With that being said guys, I'm going to give the death 
a readable rating. I really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it was. If you don't mind mature content, definitely pick this up. Definitely let me know what you guys think. If you've read the book, let me know how you liked it. So that's everything guys. Hope this review is helpful. That's my last review of the month guys. I will talk to you guys later. I'll have my conclusion video probably up on Saturday and it'll be a good time. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Um, and I, I, uh...